Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today's video. So my name's Debbie if we've not met before and in today's video I just wanted to do a super chill, just get ready with me, just chat to you guys. It's been a little while since I've done one and I've done a lot of makeup tutorials, three looks, one palette, challenges, things like that just recently and I just wanted to just, just do my makeup really and just chill and have a chat with you guys. So. So what I'm going to do while I do that, I've done my base already and all I've got to do is my eyeshadow and I'm going to be using this palette, the Dose of Colours Frankation, Desi and Katie collab palette because I just don't use it nearly enough and it's so beautiful, it blinds you in the, the lights but I love the shades inside and I just thought fancy doing something a little bit neutral and not like complicated but just something pretty really so that's what I'm going to do and just update you a little bit on what's going on in my life and maybe we can have a chat in the comments about what you guys have been up to as well i'd love that so i'm gonna make a start and just start applying some shadows to my eyes just scooched in slightly so you can see what i'm doing but i'm not really going to be doing this as a tutorial as such it's just more to to just chat to you so i'm gonna start though by going in with that shade, it's just a transition shade in the palette. So I've been wanting to film all day and I've not been able to film because my cat has been quite poorly. He's, uh, a couple of weeks ago his tail just started like flopping downwards and we couldn't figure out why and he wasn't able to raise it but he seemed okay, he was eating, just doing his normal thing seemed fine and we took him to the vet and they said oh he's probably just bruised it or something gave him some painkiller and then last Sunday the base of his tail just started swelling up like massive so I rushed him to the vet on Monday morning and he's got a cat bite and it had developed an abscess and he's been on antibiotics and they wanted to make sure that the abscess popped otherwise he was going to need to have it popped and go into sedation so I was terrified for that I put a little picture up of Benji, that, that's my cat, he's up there and he's living his best life today, he's sleeping on my chair so I didn't want to disturb him but he, um, he's popped the abscess but it's left this really nasty looking wound and I'm really really scared for him but he's going back to the vet, today is Saturday and he's going back on Monday and he seems fine, he's eating, he's running around, he's okay but he's just got this like really sore wound but he seems to be leaving it alone, so I'm hoping he's going to be okay, but but because of that, I've literally hung around all day, and my husband said, just push him off the chair, and I'm like, no, I can't, so I couldn't film because he was on my beauty chair, and that's where all the lights are set up, so all the things I'd planned to, to film for today, I've kind of like just lost the will to do that, so I just thought, I'll just put some makeup on, to be honest, and just film some things, so, but the reason why I'm also concerned is that we're, we're going on holiday and we're going to go in with that shade next. Uh, we're going on holiday on Sunday, so a week tomorrow, to the island of Thassos in Greece. And I've got three cats and they're all going to the cattery and I'm just so worried whether he'll be fit enough by then and also you know whether the cattery will take him if he's got a wound still I know they heal really quickly but I'm just a bundle of worry at the moment about this cat so so I can't look forward to my holiday and I haven't started packing and I don't even know if I'm going to be going now so that's a bit sad but we're going to as I say the island of Thassos and to a resort called Liminaria and it's absolutely beautiful. We went two years ago and we loved it. So it's just self-catering really like back to basics Greece, you know, there's like 20 rooms in these apartments, they're right on the beach and just super chill. You get to know everybody that's there and just eat their lovely Greek food and salads and things and drink mythos, I love their beer and yeah, just read books and chill in the sunshine. We're just going for a week to do that. So 
I've been on a cruise earlier in the year with my mum and this will be the first holiday just with me and my husband this year so he's not been away this year so really hoping we get to go if if I have to stay behind because of the cat I'll send him anyway so that he still gets a holiday because it'd be a shame for us both to miss out on it but that's kind of what's been happening so but it's been a week of sort of highs and lows really because for in terms of my channel things are, have been really exciting for me this week so yesterday a collab video went up I'll link that up there in the cards and it was between myself and my friends Annette and Lisa on here and it was a really fun one it was um a face-off collab where we all uh, had the same shades from the magic palette and we ended up with all shimmers and I I made a look or we all made a look and then checked out each other's looks afterwards it was such a fun one to film I filmed it a couple of weeks ago so luckily I've done that because I wasn't really in the right headspace to film and if you've watched my um three looks one palette with the flare palette I think I do come across like I'm not sort of as as chirpy as I usually am so I'm sorry for that but just so much on my mind I know he's just a cat but I love him so much and I just was just worried all week for him really but as I say I won't keep banging on about the cat I just can't help it but talk about it um but yeah so we did the collab and that was incredible and I've had so many new subscribers come across since then and if you're one of them then welcome and so lovely to have you on board I'm so excited to welcome new people to my channel and just just so people want to see what I'm doing just oh it just makes my day it's just incredible so so welcome along and there's all sorts of things that I've got planned I've got another collab which I need to get filmed tomorrow that's going out on Wednesday that I'm really excited for something a bit different for me again and will be a challenge again I won't spoil the fun by telling you what it is or who it's with but but check that out on Wednesday it'll be going live at 1 p.m. Um, UK time on Wednesday so I'll be filming that tomorrow as I say and I've also the other things I've got planned is that I really want to do some more lip product uh, reviews or you know just showing you the lip products that I've got maybe like the top 10 or 20 shades that that I love in lipstick maybe or my top reds that I use I haven't really decided but I've got too many lipsticks to to swatch them all and I'm trying to figure out what might be interesting for you guys to see so so that's something that, that I'm kind of thinking about working on but another video I really want to do is to show you guys or to narrow down should I say my top 10 eyeshadow palettes so I think I did a eyeshadow palette collection I've done five videos because I had so many palettes and I wanted to do them all just as so I split them into sections but since then I think I've probably acquired some more so I think I have about 130 odd palettes now and I thought to try and limit that down to say the 10 that you know if I had to just only keep 10 what would they be one of my favourites I've been trying to think about that all day while I couldn't film because when you were sat on my chair and I've pulled out the 10 that I think so I want to film that and talk about why those are my favourites and they're kind of my current favourites because I do change my mind all the time but but yeah I thought that might be a fun one for you guys to see and also it might give you an idea if you're new here what palettes I've got and what I really enjoy to use so that you know you can let me know if you want to see any looks with those so so I'm kind of planning I might do that I'm not doing anything super complicated here but I love that shade in the palette the pink and I love that shade so I'm kind of going to use both of those on my lid I think have you guys got this palette because the formula is so incredible it's like if I can get that to focus there we go you can even see it on the brush there it's like it's really glistening really really pretty It's 
fallout city it's, <laughs> it's going everywhere but it's the sort of formula that you can just brush away so that's not a problem so much but Damn, we've used a brush to brush away the fallout that had blush on it. So I think we'll just do that on the other cheek as well. <laughs> so we're looking a bit pinker than we were, but never mind. Just ignore that, guys. These things happen in life. It's not been the greatest day, so I'm guessing it's going to carry on that way. <laughs> so, uh Oh, that's, better. That, that's making it more foil just by spraying it with Fix Plus and it's stopping it falling all over the place so that's good but it's so worth it because it's such a beautiful formula in this palette it's so so pretty these are the kind of neutrals that I like a lot of people wouldn't call this neutral I guess but to me these are neutrals so what have you guys been up to if you've got channels yourselves what are you guys focusing on? What are you looking to be filming? Or what are you picking up? Have you got any new releases on the radar that you want to get? For me, I'm doing my best to avoid any pictures of the uh, Lisa Edwards palette, the Anastasia colourful palette because it just looks so gorgeous and Anastasia is just one of my weaknesses and it's it's crazy really because I buy their palettes and I really don't use them that much so I don't know why I'm gravitating towards buying them I think just the packaging and I don't know they just the brushes are brilliant they're really good but I really don't know what it is about them but I just end up wanting to get every single one and it's a bit of a completionist thing but I did a three looks, I don't even think I did a three looks, I did a first impressions with the Riviera palette and I've not used it since so I keep telling myself I do not need that palette but I kind of still want it and the other one I'm looking at at the moment is the Tan Lines palette by Jouer because it's got some really beautiful shimmers and it's quite neutral as well and I could do some more interesting neutrals but the main thing that I've got my eye on of course is the jawbreak palette by Jeffree Star that looks absolutely stunning honestly uh, I knew I wanted it for like the reveal was revealed because I buy everything of his really palette wise but nothing could like prepare me for like when they open that palette up and you see inside it's so beautiful I love the idea that there's a smaller palette as well for those that don't want to spend that much or also if you just want to take it away with you and it's something smaller because a lot of these palettes have got such massive packaging that taking them anywhere isn't the easiest i mean blood sugar is an amazing palette blue blood is amazing but they're bulky and if i ever take a palette anywhere with me from his line it will be beauty killer because of how slim it is and it's still got some good colors in but that one's totally going to replace that, I think, for me. And that one lands when I'm on my holiday. So I said to my husband, we, we can't go anywhere on that Friday evening. <laughs> so I think Greece are two hours ahead and it will launch at like 6pm because it's 10am Pacific Standard Time, I think, which is 6pm UK time. So... I think Greece are two hours ahead so it'll be 8pm so it would just be when we'd be about to, to go out for dinner or something but I'm like no we can't go because I need to pick up that palette because I'm not going to miss out on it because it's so amazing and I'm after some of the lipsticks and oh the Supreme Frost I love those I've got many honey and hypothermia from the original drop of those but definitely want to get some more of those they kind of replace the skin frost to my mind. I'm just trying to get this in a bit here to look blended and do you know what I find doing cut creases or half cut creases and colourful looks and wing liner so much easier than actually getting shadows to look blended. I don't know why but I definitely struggle with that and these are quite good shadows. They are blendable shadows so it's just me and my technique is not very good I think for doing that. Right, so that's kind of what we've 
got and if you're uh, old school from my channel from the beginning you'll know I have to match my top to what I'm wearing so it kind of matches I think this pencil might go quite well this is a old favorite for me I love this one so this is the 24-7 pencil in torch by Urban Decay like a rusty red and it just works with so many different eye looks and some of their pencils don't go in the waterline very well and they're a struggle and some of them are amazing and this one's a really good one I'm pressing the dark brown shade that's in the palette just along my lower lash line just to give me some definition there I start off thinking this is a neutral look and then I end up making it dramatic anyway. I don't think I can do neutral. <laughs> Not completely. Nor if you watch this, Gold Star Work, you know I can't do neutral. I saw your comment, you're right, I can't. <laughs> I have to twist it with something. Literally all my blending brushes that I like to use are in the wash so we're gonna go with one that's way too big to blend under my lash line and probably make this look like a raccoon eye by the time I'm done. So that's okay because I'm calling this a get ready movie but I'm uh, getting ready to just take it all off again and go to bed after this so it doesn't matter too much. I love the shadows in this palette, it's so gorgeous. So those of you that are into colourful makeup, do you like neutrals as well? Do you buy like rainbow palettes and buy neutral palettes like I do? Like I've got the Soft Glam and the Sultry by Anastasia, I've got the original Naked palette. I love some neutral tones, grungy tones, brights, pastels. Just everything really. For today's little twist of colour, I thought I might go in this greeny gold there. And as I'm going to put it on my lower lash line, I'm definitely going to spray it. Mm, kind of like that. This is another cool brush. This is a Shader in a Corner E46 by Sigma. And I love little brushes like this. And their brushes are some of the best, I think. I know there's lots of affordable options out there, and I've got Real Techniques, Real Techniques brushes. I love those. I've got a lot of Spectrum brushes, and I love those as well. I always pretty much use my. Sigma ones in preference to anything else, or my pro ones from Urban Decay. I'm just wrapping that greeny gold shade just around a little bit. I think that could look cool. Okay, that's what we have. So I'm going to just stop off camera and put my mascara on. It's so boring to watch. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be back with you and find a lipstick to pair with the look. Right, well, mascara's done, and I've found a lipstick to use. I'm gonna use this one, it's um, by Urban Decay, it's called Singe, and it's one of their metalized ones, and it's, the reason I've chosen it is because of the, the tones of it. I think it's pretty monochromatic with the eye look, so I kind of like that sometimes, so I'm gonna give that one a go. See what I mean? It's almost completely the tone of the eyeshadow. What do you guys think of metallic lips? I know some people hate them. I love them. <laughs> it's not quite the same shade, it's more reddish I think more reddish pink than the eyes but I like it with this look I think it looks all right so 
do you know what? I came on camera kind of feeling a little bit, a little bit down today, not feeling the greatest. And I don't know why, because I should be so happy because my channel's doing well and, and whatever else. So I think I'm just so concerned about the cat and I don't know where I am with the holiday and things. And then I've come on camera and I've started to do my makeup. And it's amazing how like makeup is like your, your sanctuary sometimes. It just cheers you up so much. I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying if you're into makeup, but it just like cheers me up so much. Just the creative process, just the putting it on my face and then just the, the finished look and just looking so much better than you did before as well so so i'm glad i came on camera today and if you guys are having a day that's not the greatest or whatever then i hope if you're watching this that it's cheered you up a little bit just uh play with some makeup maybe you've played along and put your makeup on and got ready with me and as i say i haven't really helped you much because i haven't shown you what i've done but literally it was just a few shades in my crease just to build up a bit of definition and that pinky red on my lid and then just the in these corners here just the goldy colour and I've got a highlight on which is from the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit I've kind of mixed those two shades and it gives a nice soft kind of pinky gold highlight rather than an in your face highlight and I thought that would work well for sort of look I wanted to do and for blush I've been loving this which is my Beauty Bakery Pizza Cake palette that I got in the sales at Christmas and it looks super scary the colour but I love this red shade and if it's done like kind of with a really light hand and then left into the skin it's so pretty so they're the, the things I've been using at the moment. Everything else in my routine is pretty similar to what I always do. The Pixie Glow Mist, uh, my Revolution Pro Drops Foundation, and my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder, and I'm using the Bad Girl Bang Mascara. So pretty much what I usually do. I don't list my products in the description box often because I don't change things up that much with my face. But let me know guys, would that be helpful? Do you want to know what I've used? I do occasionally like change up the blush and highlight or the mascara that I've used or the lip that I've used. And I sometimes do forget when I've done an eyeshadow tutorial to say what lip I've completed the look with. So if it would be helpful to have a list then I'll do it. I don't have any links, I'm not affiliated with anyone so there won't be any links to where to buy things but I could certainly list everything that I've used. So if you want me to do that, let me know. I'm certainly happy to do it and as i say i hope you've enjoyed seeing me put my face on and seeing it put a smile on my face and hope you've enjoyed it guys and if you did and you're new then please subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one bye